Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I am your host, Jason Turner. In this episode, I'm excited to show you the very first ever real actual C++ compiler support for coroutines. Now, let's clarify. Compilers have had coroutine support for a while, but this is the first library support for that. As C++ developers, we are honored to contribute to self-driving technology, simplify lives with embedded devices, support financial ecosystems, and assist traders with trading bots. To keep up with the pace of development, we need tools that help us work quickly and effectively. C-Line is a powerful JetBrains IDE for C and C++ that makes this challenge its main goal, integrating code analysis, refactoring, and the best ecosystem tools into our day-to-day -day development. Use CPP Weekly C-Lion to get 25% off when you purchase a new C-Lion subscription or renew your existing one. This is probably going to be a very short and sweet episode because the idea is simple. It is remarkably simple. We have a new generator header in C++23. It lets you very easily write resumable generator-like thingies. I'm going to write an infinite loop in this particular case, something that is constantly generating values. And if you've been watching the episodes lately, you know that I've kind of been playing around with terser and terser ways of making Fibonacci sequence generators. So uh, using standard exchange here, what I'm saying is return the new value of i, and the new value of i will be what j was, and j will be what i plus j was. That's what exchange gives us. So we're kind of shifting these values down and doing exactly what we want to do from a Fibonacci sequence generator of just summing all of the numbers up possible. And then in main, we might do this, which is going to look awfully familiar because this is almost exactly the same as the lambda-based generator that I showed in a very recent episode here. I'm going to take the first 20, and I am going to include the ranges library, and I am going to include iostream so that we can print these things out. And there you have it. This is an infinite sequence, but it only takes the first 20, and then it kills the coroutine generator thingy, and we get 20 values of the Fibonacci sequence printed out just like that. Now, I will leave it as an exercise to the reader to compare the assembly output from this version compared to the Lambda-based generator that I showed recently. So check out that episode and see what you think. But otherwise, this is standard generator, part of C++23. GCC trunk builds currently have support for this, so it is something that you can play with and see what you think about this very simple, resumable generator-like function use case for coroutines. So thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. Be sure to subscribe.